Hello, friends! Today we have a new project in our review. So let's get started. Team Morpheus Labs is based in Singapore. The company is led by Chuang Pei Han, Branson Lee, Doral D. Bercy, and Bruce Lu Young. Chuang Pei Han is a serial entrepreneur with seven years of experience in banking. He has a proven track record of building and growing businesses. Branson Lee is a former member of the Singapore Fintech Association with over 13 years experience in business development and channel partnership. He worked at LinkedIn and is also an active public speaker for blockchain and fintech events. Branson was recently named as one of Asia's top 100 fintech influencers. Doral D. Bercy has over 16 years of experience in application development and infrastructure management. He has been a technology leader with seasoned expertise in large B and FSI, overseeing multi-million digital transformation projects. Bruce Lu Young has more than 20 years' experience in software development and technology innovation. He has worked with IBM as a technical leader, focusing on cloud application development and technology innovation in various industries. Throughout his professional career, he has successfully delivered more than 20 projects. According to the Morpheus Labs website, the team consists of 10 members with various backgrounds relevant to their mission. It's always great to see an organization which has a proven be able to build businesses, which is the case here. Tokenomics. What is the MITx token? Morpheus Infrastructure Token MITx is an ERC20 compliant token designed to be used within the Morpheus BPAAS network for all services and products rendered. Platform subscription, distributorship licensing, and token swaps with other digital currencies or tokens are the primary use cases for the MITx token. The more companies using the platform and the more activities the platform has, the more valuable MITx tokens should be. Adoption is the key for investors. The ICO took place from February to April of 2018. Of the total supply of 799 millions, 999,997 MITx tokens, 30% went to the community, 25% to the token sale. 20% to a reserve fund, 15% to the Morpheus Labs Foundation for strategy and research purposes and 10% to the team. The current circulating supply is 205,577,285 MITx. In August of 2019, Chuang Pei Han and Branson Lee decided to extend the lock-in period of their token shares from 15th of April of 2018 to 14th October of 2019. This further proves commitment to the project and will strengthen investors' trust in the team and vision. Growth Potential and Roadmap the roadmap featured on the Morpheus Labs website is split up into a business and a technical section. It's great to see a roadmap split up like this, but it certainly lacks detail and doesn't go any further than quarter 4th of 2018. 
this should be updated soon because at first glance it seems like the team doesn't make any progress. If investors are willing to dig a bit deeper though, they will find a very compelling and continuously updated blog feed on Medium, which highlights milestones and achievements. Blockchain will definitely play a significant role in enterprise software. This is going to be a huge market as soon as companies find out how they can improve their operations using blockchain technology. Since distributed ledgers are a relatively new technology and because of scarcity when it comes to developers in this space, a solution that offers easy access to blockchain applications will be highly sought after, once companies are trying to get a hold on this technology. In this regard, Morpheus Labs is very well positioned as they provide a highly scalable all-in-one solution. At this point, I want to take a closer look at the go-to-market strategy and partnerships or rather clients the team has already signed up, as it gives Morpheus Labs a whole new level of legitimacy and shows that the business and platform are viable. One exciting partnership is the one with Veritas. Veritag and Morpheus Labs joined forces to roll out the very hub blockchain platform to improve China's food safety. Conclusion So far we have highlighted the many positive aspects of this project, but there are indeed also some downsides to Morpheus Labs. A tremendous market opportunity will always attract competition. And Morpheus Labs is not the only project in this space. The service they are providing is, unfortunately, something that can be copied pretty easily and on the technical side there are no substantial barriers to entry for new and existing competitors. I'm sure that the team is well aware of this market condition, hence the very early efforts to build strong partnerships on the business as well as on the technological side of the project. One of these partners is VetChain. This was a brief overview of the project. Bye everyone!